today and I had a really good time. Um, I saw two of my friends that I haven't seen in a little while with my other friend and we went to this dog brewery place and we spent like a good like two hours there. They had like a food truck there so we could eat but my friends wanted to bring like that were coming to meet us wanted to bring their dogs there so that's why we went there and this place is so good. Me and my friend both had um, hard ciders and um, my other two friends had beers. I'm not a beer drinker, but I like hard cider. And then we all ordered um, food from the barbecue food truck and their food was really good, actually really good. Um, sometimes food truck food can be like not worth the price and a little bit overpriced, but <laughs> All their stuff was really good. Their fries were bomb. And then, um, me and my friend, my two friends had to leave because they, she had to bring home one of my other friends because he doesn't see very well at night. Um, it was just the four of us there. It was so much fun. And then me and my, uh, other friend wanted to walk, like, down the block from the brewery because we spotted this bookstore. So we went in there. I actually didn't buy any books today, but now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't. <laughs> but I want to start reading my Colleen Hoover book first before I buy any more books yet because I want to see if I like her style of writing because I'm like, I'm just giving you guys an update. I'm like almost halfway through the On Honeymooners and I'm enjoying this book so much. I love it. But I want to start this and see if I like Colleen Hoover before I pick up the sequel. But I also want to listen to the audiobook sequel of this one. So, I just got a lot of reading to do. But it's only these two books. And then, um, I really want to start reading thrillers. So, I was debating between these two uh, thrillers at Target with my friend. Because we ended up going to Target after we went to the bookstore. Because... I had to get makeup wipes and we ended up going there. We always end up going to Target anyway. It's like, and it's so funny because my friend didn't get anything. And then we went to our favorite place, Nosh, for dinner in his town because I didn't want to stay in the town that we were in because Saturday night gets a little bit nuts. So, and also there was a Christmas tree lighting tonight. So if we decided to eat in town, it would have been such a pain in the ass to get out of the town. So... We didn't leave at the best time. We left around like five. So anyway, I primed my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I used the Kaja lip oil and then I set my eyes with the um, Urban Decay pressed powder and then I just used the Christmas Eve palette by Odin's Eye if I don't drop it again today. I debated for the longest time last night what I was going to wear but then I just ended up wearing this blue plaid shirt so I could wear the blue look finally out of this palette because I really wanted to and I only ended up using these three shades with this on the inner corner and honestly it lasted such a good amount of time it looks so pretty sometimes the simplest looks are the ones that last the longest so I just used nightfall in the crease then I darkened up the crease more with Christmas Eve on the defining area and on the outer corners and then for the lid, I finally went into the shade Blue Ice. It is such a stunning, like, super sparkly, like, turquoise shade. And then I just used um, Blend Bunny's uh, Brighter Days on the Brow Bone. And then for the inner corners, I just went in with Snowflake. And that's it. And it just looks so pretty. So now I only have the shade Wonderful to use and silvery dream which looks like such a beautiful shade so i'm probably gonna use silvery dream on monday i'm not sure yet but wonderful i'm not sure how i'm gonna use that one i'm probably gonna use like purple with it we'll see and then for the waterline i just used my black liner from makeup forever and then i just used um the essence lash primer and then i used the tart tartlet tubing mascara on the top lashes and then the maybelline lash discovery on the bottom lashes and then for my face i used the do it spray and then the elf power grip primer and then for my foundation i just use my lancome teen idol it's just the best and lasts the longest so i just wanted to use this because i knew i was going to be out for a while today and i just used the shade 120 n um and then for my concealer i just went in with my trusty dusty which is the tarte one it's amazing how it still doesn't even crease that much and i've been wearing it for so long 
I mean, it doesn't look the greatest, but it still looks way better than most of my other concealers do after wearing it for this long. So I just use the Tarte C um, Power Flex Concealer in the shade 8S. And then I just set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath powder. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay powder. And then for my bronzer, I wanted to go into my Gucci bronzer today. So I just used that in the shade 01. And then for my blush... I just went in with my Kat Von D blush in the shade Honeysuckle. This is like still on my face. Unless that might be just redness, but it's still there. Honestly, I wear blush pretty well. Like my skin doesn't have like my blush like fade completely probably because I have dry skin. But this is like still on my face. That's like amazing. But I love this shade and I just wanted to use it again because I love it. It's just such an easy shade to use. And then for my highlight, I went in with my Blend Bunny uh, Cosmetics Noctilucent palette, of course, and I used um, Apparition. Again, this is still on my face, and it's just as intense as when I first put it on. Do you see that? I love this fucking palette so much. It's so fucking good. Blend Bunny is hyped up for a reason, okay? They make bomb products. They really do. The hype is real. Their stuff is amazing. And then I set my face with the uh, Milk Makeup Setting Spray, and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. Sorry, I'm just grabbing my lippy and knocking over everything in the process. And then for my lip liner, I just used Minute Man by ColourPop, but I think that was kind of the wrong choice to use with this lippy. But anyway, I used the Colored Rain <coughs> Liquid Lipstick <coughs> in the shade Satin Cream. I actually won this in one of Debbie's giveaways. It's so funny. I've actually won her giveaways twice. I, I won this and I won um, a Davina shadow like years ago. And I used to use that as like an inner corner highlight a lot. Um, but this lippy's really nice. So that was that was cool that I won that. I wasn't even on her live when I won it. I was like, really? She was like, yeah, tell me which one you want me to send you. So it was, it was pretty cool. So yeah, and then I just wore this like navy cardigan from Lucky 2. I thought this looked so cute with this. I was like, why haven't I worn this with this before? So yeah. That's it. Bye. Gotta work tomorrow, so bye. Okay, so hey there, guys. I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I just got home from work. Pretty tired. I didn't even want to fix up my under eyes because I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah. Just work today, so I primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Primer, and then I used my Kaja Lip Oil, <clears throat> and then I set my eyes with the Dior powder. I just want to repowder a little bit, like right here. My face gets like so glowy. It's like ridiculous with this foundation, but I love this foundation. So, anyway, um, I used my Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic palette today with like one shade from the Nearly Natural palette because I really wanted to use it today and do this soft pink look. <clears throat> so I just went in with the shade um, Admire in the crease, and then from the Nearly Natural palette, I just used um, the shade Untouched right here. Just like a really pretty mauve shade, just to deepen it up more. And then the rest of the shades were all from the Rich Romantic palette. Okay, at least I didn't hit myself in the face. So I used um, Passion on the outer corners, and then for the lid... I went in with Rich, and then for the brow bone, I used um, Intoxicating, and then for the inner corners, I went in with Captivating, and then for the lower lash line, I just went in with Admire again and smudged down the lower lash line. I think it turned out really pretty. I only got like one compliment today, but it's whatever. And then for my, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I just had dinner. My waterline, I just used the Make a Fever Brown Liner. And then for my uh, mascara, I used the Lancome, oh my god, for my mascara, where did it even go? I don't know where it is, I'm just, I'm so freaking exhausted, you guys. At least it's a Sunday night, so I'm able to be home, but I'm still tired. I don't know where it is. I used the Lancome Taint Idol mascara. I don't know where it went. 
So I just used that and then I just used the Lash Discovery by Maybelline on the bottom lashes. And then for my face, everything is so goddamn frustrating. Like, it's not even funny. And then for my face, I used the Do It Spray and then the Elf Power Grip Primer. And then for my foundation, I wanted to use my House Labs foundation in the shades, in the shade 050 Fair Cool. And then for my concealer, I used the House Labs concealer in the shade 01 Fair Neutral. Then I set my under eyes with Pat McGrath Labs powder, and then I set my face with the Dior powder again. And then for my bronzer, I used, um, okay, everything is over here apparently, um, the Pat McGrath Labs bronzer, um, in the shade Naked Desire. I just don't feel like talking loud, I'm just, my voice is like tired. Like, bitch, you've been socializing too much. And then for my uh, blush, I used the House Labs blush in the shade Hibiscus Haze. And then for my highlight, I used an older highlighter, the Bobbi Brown highlighter in the shade Pink Glow. It's a little bit, sh like, torn. Like, there's, like, a crack in the middle, but it still functions beautifully. It's such a pretty highlight, so I just used that. My cheeks are a bit red from yesterday. I don't know what irritated my face but there, it's just a little bit red so and then I set my face with the milk set setting spray and then I set my brows with the elf wow brow and then for my lips I used the ColourPop lip liner in the shade oh snap and then for my lipstick I used the MAC power kiss lipstick in the shade what is that shade name reverence I guess it's called reverence it's just a really pretty color all right i'm gonna go because i can't i can't so yeah bye. hey so hey there guys i want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today today i just decided to take a day to myself i didn't really sleep last night so i told my boyfriend this morning that i would see him tomorrow i was supposed to see him today but honestly like i just like i said i think i said this in my last makeup entry is that I just needed a day. So got my hair cut and I really like how it looks. I just really needed a haircut like desperately. It was just way too long again and I really like how she made my hair look. I like that she kind of made it a little bit more of different lengths and I think she did a really great job. It just it looks great. I really like it. Um, and then I got my nails done as well and I got like this cobalt blue color. And then, of course, I went to Target and picked up more books because <laughs> I'm psycho. Um, but I had to pick up the sequel to It Ends With Us. So I just started It Ends With Us today, and I just picked up the sequel. Well, it's, I think this is kind of more like a prequel, but I'm so excited to read both of these. So those are my next two books. And then I also picked up my first thriller and I was reading reviews on this one because Target doesn't really have that many thrillers. And I thought this was going to be 30% off the cover price. But it ended up being like $19, which I think is already 30% off. But $19 for hardcover is pretty good. So I just love the cover. And this is the one that I saw that had like pretty much the best reviews and it's his newest novel, and everybody is already saying that this is probably his best book. Um, but they only had two of his books available, which was that one and uh, The House Across the Lake. But I don't know. I'm just trying to get into some more authors, some more genres. Like Colleen Hoover, this is the first book I've ever read from her, and she's more of like a drama emotional drama writer so I've never read dramas before so I'm really excited to read both of those so yeah I pr and I finished the on honeymooners this morning so I was like now I can pick up two more books because I started my second book like I try to just pick up two books at a time and since now I have the sequel and the next book then that's what I'm going to read because I already finished one book three days into December, four days into December. So I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil and then I set my eyes with the 
ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. I also got a massage at the nail salon and it felt so good. So I'm just glad I had a day of self pampering. Sometimes you just need that, especially like after Thanksgiving and before Christmas. I just, I needed a day. I'm like, I don't want to see anybody today. And then for my eyeshadow, I went in with the Ace Beauté Aura palette because I haven't used this in a while and I kind of was just feeling like using it. So I used the shade Hazy in the Crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Nimbus, and then I used Sultry on the outer corners, and then I used Moonlight all over the lid. It's such a pretty color, and then I just went in with Sunburst on the inner corners, and that's everything that I use. And it's such a nice, easy palette, and I really like the formula of this one compared to the one that was in uh, my BoxyCharm, or not in my BoxyCharm, I bought it from somebody else, um, like one of their palettes. From BoxyCharm it's not even the same quality it's like super dry not great so I recommend if you're buying anything from Ace Beauté buy it from the website so and then for my waterline I went in with the Makeup Forever brown liner in the shade Limitless, Limitless Brown and then for my mascara I just went in with the Essence Lash Primer and then for my mascara I just went in with my ColourPop Level Up mascara on the top and bottom lashes and then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And then I went in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrolonic Acid Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Fair 1N. And then for my concealer, I went into the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 110 Nude Ivory. And then I set my under eyes with the House Labs Powder. And then I set my face with the uh pretty fresh powder and then for my bronzer i just went into my color pop uh matte bronzer i'm probably gonna take my makeup off soon though because i just want to relax and my face feels a little bit dry so i went in with the matte bronzer in the shade alviva beach and then for my blush i went in with the color pop uh blush in the shade Meteor right this is from one of their older collections I just use this just use a neutral blush and then for my highlight I went into my Nabla highlighter this is the Nabla skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder in the shade ozone it's like one of the most beautiful highlighters I own I absolutely love it and then I set my face with the do it spray and then I set my brows with the ColourPop brow blush gel and then I'm just grabbing my Lipstick and then for my lipstick I went into the Sephora I think these are the lip story lipsticks. I'm pretty sure that they're called and this one is called the shade 2 which is Landing in Shanghai. I don't even know if they have half of these available anymore But it's just such a pretty easy nude and I kind of liked the peachy pink vibe with the mustardy Yellow, I don't know. I think it looked pretty so yeah that's it. I'm going to go relax. Bye. Okay, so hey there, guys. So I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. As you guys know, I did get my hair cut yesterday. I don't know if I said it in the, make that, uh, the makeup look that I said yesterday or you guys were seeing it shorter, but I'm just so happy it's shorter now. Um, so I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer, and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my eyeshadow today, I really wanted to go into my Melt Rust Palette today. I've been kind of just pulling out some palettes that I haven't used in a little while, and I've wanted to get more use out of. So I went in with uh, a Road in the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with Rubbish, and then I used mar on the outer corners and then for my lid i went in with tarnish and then for the brow bone i used classic and that's everything i used from the palette really pretty yellowy warm toned kind of look but it's still like grungy but it also like i really have been loving like yellowish brown looks lately so and this is one of like my favorite looks to do with this palette so that's what i did and then i just used the Makeup Forever um, color pencil in the shade Anywhere Black because I wanted the black to tie in with my black sweater. And then for my um, mascara, I just went in with, I went in with my Essence Lash Primer and then I just used the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara because I haven't used this one in a little while. And it's a good mascara, so I just used that and then I just used my Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. 
And then for my inner corners, I just used my face highlight, but I feel like it's kind of light. But I don't know. I'm kind of liking that it's a little bit softer. So maybe I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and then I primed my face with the Do It Spray. And then the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And then I went in with my um, Cali Ray Skin Tint in the shade The One, the Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. And this is the shade The One, like I just said. And then I went in with the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in the shade 090. And then I set my under eyes with the House Labs powder. And then I set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh powder. And then for my bronzer, I went in with the Makeup by Mario bronzer in the shade Light, the Soft Sculpt bronzer, um, just because I wanted to use that today. And then for my blush and highlight, I went in with Melt, more Melt products. I went into the Cream Blush in... This is the cream blush light in the shade Sandy Cheeks. Very pretty peachy shade. And then for my highlight, I went into the shade Ghost Light. This is one of the blush lights, and that's also what I put on my inner corners. This is such a pretty highlighter. I just feel like my skin is very dry right now. Even though I did wash my makeup brushes last night, it's not really showing as blinding as it usually does, but it's fine. And then I set my face with the... Uh, do it spray and then I set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel and then for my lips I went into my little mini melt lipstick um, in the shade Free uh, Frisky. I thought it said Freaky. This is the ultra matte lipstick but it's a very creamy lipstick. So yeah I'm just gonna go to my boyfriend's house now where I'm gonna pick us up some food. Um, I just wanted to give a book update real quick. I think I did say I was gonna start this yesterday and I am way more into it than I was yesterday. I think I had just started it when I told you guys. <laughs> I was only like 20 pages in and now I'm on page 225. <laughs> so I've read 200 pages. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I'm on part two because um, it's actually broken up into two parts. So I'm hoping to finish this by before the end of the week so so then I can start the sequel but I also just started listening to my very first audiobook on audible because this book is only an audible version like there's no physical book and it's the sequel to the unhoneymooners by Christina Loren so this is the honeymoon crashers and I got about four chapters in while I was getting ready. I'm like halfway through chapter, I think this is actually chapter six because chapter one starts as like a commercial. I mean, I'm not sure. But I got like a couple chapters in and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. But I just feel like an audiobook is harder for me to um like get through if I just like put it on in the background or something like that because for me I'm gonna have to listen to like every single detail and I feel like if I miss one detail I'm gonna be like annoyed if I'm like doing something else so I'm just gonna listen to it as I get ready each day hopefully I'll get through it by like I don't know it's probably gonna take me the whole month to listen to it because again I'm only gonna listen to it when I'm getting ready like I feel like that's the only time I'm gonna have time and also like enough focus on listening to it. So we'll see. So yeah, I'm going to go. Bye. Okay, so hey there guys. I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I'm just going to my boyfriend's house again. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I already finished the book that I was reading. I finished it like two hours ago. And I think that's the fastest I've ever read a book. But I've also read two books in the past five days so like six days since like the 30th of November I finished two books already in one week so um I'm gonna start the sequel tonight um I don't know if I'm gonna bring this with me sometimes I do but really do want to start this probably soon um, obviously I'm going to finish it probably, um, or well, I'm going to start it soon. Um, 
Also, this one is like 60, like 50 pages shorter than the first one. So it's only like 300 and something pages, like 315 or something. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer, and then I used the Kaja Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my eyeshadow, I just went in with my ColourPop Rock On palette today, because I haven't used ColourPop in like a week and a half or something. So uh, I went in with Road Trippin' in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Rock My World, and then I used Trail Mix from the Outer Corners. And then for my lid, I just went in with Vortex. So now I've actually used all of the shimmers twice in this palette. So I just think it's a good little neutral palette. So I just wanted to use it today. It's just an easy, simple palette to use. And then I went in with Chasing Sunsets on the inner corners. So that's all I used. And then I just went in with Brighter Days from Blend Bunny on the brow bone. And then for my waterline, I just went in with the Make a Forever liner in the shade Brown. And then for my mascara, I went in with the Essence Lash Primer, of course, and then I went in with the ColourPop Act Natural. And then I went in with the Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes, and then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer, and then for my... Uh, Face product. I just wanted to use something pretty light today, so I just went in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade um, Fair. And then I went in with the Tower 28 Concealer because I wanted to just use this today because I hadn't used it in like a week. So this one's in the shade BH. And then I set my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I decided to just use that one today because I need to use some of my other powders. But I don't know if I love this one because it's kind of making it look very crepey underneath my eyes. But it's whatever. Like, it's not really as big of a deal when I'm just seeing him anyway. And then I just set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for my bronzer, I went into the Ilia Bronzer in the shade Drawn In. I just wanted to use that because I hadn't used it in a little while. And then for my blush, I went into some ColourPop just because I wanted to use some more ColourPop products. So I just used the ColourPop blush uh, in the shade Wayfair. This is from the Wild Nothing collection. I love this blush. It's one of my favorites from ColourPop. And then for the highlight, I went in with... It's so funny how much I love this highlighter now because the, the heart-shaped ones that came out last year, I hated that. I mean, I loved the blush, but you can never open it. So... This one is so easy to open, so I really love using this, and it's such a pretty, like, white goldish kind of color. So I went in with the shade You're Glowing, and it's just so pretty. And then I set my face with the Rare Beauty Spray, and then I set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, and then for my lips, I went into the ColourPop Lipstick in the shade Appy. So yeah, that's it. Bye! Okay, so hey there guys, I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. My light is driving me nuts. Um, so I just got home from work. Sorry, I don't know why it's blurry. Okay, so still looks blurry. I'm just going to turn this down a little because it's fucking blinding me. Okay, so I primed my eyes with the uh, Anastasia Eye Primer and then I used the uh, Kaja lip oil and then I set my eyes with the Urban Decay pressed powder and then for my eyeshadow I went into the Christmas Eve palette by Odin's Eye again and I just used this palette and I really like how the look turned out it was really pretty um so I used this shade in the crease called uh, Ice Crystal and then for the defining shade I used Nowhere and then for the outer corners I went in with Christmas Eve and then for the lid, I went in with Silvery Dream, and it really is such a beautiful shade. And then I just used Brighter Days from Blend Bunny on the brow bone. And then for the lower lash line, I went in with Snowflake on the inner corners. And then I went in with a little bit of Wonderful on the lower lash line. And then for the outer part, I went in with Nowhere again. And I really like how it looked. I love how it picked up the colors in my sweater, and I thought that this was just a perfect palette to use for dance. So now the only shade I have to use is this shade Wonderful. 
I really don't know how I'm going to use these green shades. I literally did not use them at all. Maybe I'll end up using them with like the golds at some point. I really don't know, but I didn't end up using them. But I think that would be kind of a cool look. Do like a green and gold look. That will probably be the only way. But honestly, I really didn't find myself using them. I kind of wish there was like a purple in here or like a deep dark purple. That would have been like perfect, but it's okay. Odin's eye sometimes puts in like odd shades and you end up using them eventually. And then I just used Charmer from ColourPop on the waterline. And then I just went in with my Essence Lash Primer. And then I used the Amico Lay Mascara. And then I used the Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the, uh, what else? What did I use? The Elf Power Grip Primer. Sorry, I look like so glowy right now. But, and my nose is running like terribly. So, Yeah. Um, and then I went in with the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation and the Coincide and Concealer. This is in the shade 1RO2 and this is in the shade 1.1N. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay Pressed Powder. And then for my bronzer, I went in with my House Labs bronzer. Where is it? This one right here in the shade Light Level 1. I love this guy. And then for my blush, I went into the ColourPop blush in the shade Or Kid You Not. It lasts so well on the skin. It's just a really pretty blush. So I just used Diet and then for my... Oh, this is called Just My Pluck, not Or Kid You Not. It's just from the Or Kid You Not collection. Then for my highlighter, I went into the Michaela and Glam Light highlighter. Um, this is just the Michaela one. So I really like this one because it's like a white purpley kind of shade. I don't like Michaela, but I bought this highlighter when she came out with her Glam Light collection and it was like discounted for like six or seven bucks so I wanted to try it it's a beautiful highlighter I just don't like her and then I went in with the milk makeup setting spray of course and then I set my brows with the uh color with the elf wow brow actually I don't think I set my brows today I think I might have forgotten but whatever and then I went in with the oat snap <coughs> lip liner sorry I was trying not to sneeze and then for my lipstick Oh my god, I'm a mess. I went into the YSL lipstick in the shade 1. This is one of the Touche Clot liquid lipsticks. So yeah, I hadn't used that in a while, so I wanted to use it today. Alright, I'm gonna go, because I just got home from work, and I want to sit down and watch a show with my family. So bye! Okay, I actually need to go, so I think I'm going to wrap up my thoughts about the second book another time. I mean, I'm still going to keep it in this video, but it's only going to be like maybe another five-minute clip tops explaining the rest of what happens in the second book and my opinion on both. So yeah, I have to go, um, but I'll just tell you guys really quick what I used in this video. So I went in with the Curse Cosmetics Spellbook Palette. And I went in with a few of these shades, and I really like how the look turned out. I think it turned out really grungy, which is exactly what I wanted. So I used Sticks and Stones in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with uh, Wand. And then I used Craft on the outer corners. And then I used Spell all over the lid. And then I went in with Bones on the brow bone. And then I used Hex on the inner corners. I wasn't going to use this palette, but then... Looking at the final look, I actually really like how it turned out. So this is a good palette. Why is there already transfer? And then I just used my Makeup Forever Black Liner. And my mascara was the Tarte Tartlet uh, Tubing Mascara. And then I used the Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then I used the Do It Spray and the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. And then my conceal my foundation and concealer was the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation in the shade 120N. And then I used the Tarte C concealer in the shade uh, Porcelain 8 Sand 8S. And then I used the Pat McGrath powder and the Urban Decay powder to set. Uh, the Urban Decay Stay Naked powder and the Pat McGrath Labs powder underneath my eyes. And then for my bronzer, I used my Pat McGrath bronzer in the shade Naked Desire. And then I used actually two new products for my blush and highlight. Where is the other one? Where did I put it? Did I put it back? Where did it go? 
This is the highlighter, but where is the blush? Oh, it's right here. I think this is it. Yeah, I used M Cosmetics today, and I used the shade Magic Hour as my blush. It's a really pretty blush. I don't know if this is the actual color, though, because my brush is a bit dirty, but I just washed them like a couple of days ago. So I don't know if it's looking more peachy, but then I also used the coinciding highlighter in the shade Clarity. Um, and it's pretty. I like it, but it's not like my absolute favorite. And then I set my face with the Milk Spray, and then I set my brows with the uh, Elf Brow Boss Gel. And then for my lip liner, I used BFF3 from ColourPop. And then for my lipstick, I used the Lime Prime Velveteen Lipstick in the shade Salem. So yeah, I will wrap up my thoughts soon, probably tomorrow night. So bye.